Hi, we're at PHP Tech here. Uh, we've got some Pringles that are aligned improperly here, so I'm just going to fix these. We're doing another infamous PHP Pringles tasting. We've got some exciting flavors here. Uh, before we get to these flavors, I want to introduce who's going to be doing the tasting with me. Uh, we have Brian Redderer from Stormpath. Pleasure to have you. This is your first Pringles tasting. It is. I'm Excellent. excited. Kevin Bruce, illustrator of the PHP Tech community. We've got Samantha Canones, keynote speaker. Hasn't had breakfast, really looking forward to these Pringles. <laughs> Sid Sharma from Nexmo. Thanks, Sid, did a video with you yesterday. You nailed it. I'm yeah. confident what you're going to do today. Excited. And lastly, Corey Fowler from Microsoft, visiting from the Pacific Northwest. Is that correct? That is the correct. Excellent. Canadian, but you wouldn't know it. He's a really nice guy. You wouldn't know it. So, the Pringles we got here today, tangy okay. buffalo wing. Uh, Sid is very excited about that. Yep, yep. We've got some cheeseburger, which uh, I believe... Jessica Mariam told me it tastes like pickles, so we'll, we'll check that out. Uh, pizza, not sure if this is St. Louis style pizza, but it is probably as flat as St. Louis style pizza. Chili con queso. Next up, cheesy quesadilla. I'm curious how these compare. This is probably the same flavor with different packaging. Maybe it's a placebo effect. We'll get to the bottom of that. And lastly, barbecue. This is probably the most normal of the flavors, so we'll save that to last. Uh, Sam, since you were one of the speakers, I'll let you decide what did we start with here. Uh, and you're probably the most hungry. Uh, probably, yeah. I think we definitely need to get into the, uh, the pickle slash cheeseburger flavor. Pickle slash cheeseburger flavor, probably the closest thing to a hot dog. This is from the Food Truck Flavors Collection. These were picked up at a local Walgreens. It's also Red Nose Day this week, so be sure to support poverty. Or the opposite of poverty, don't support. <laughs> anyway, Sam, if you'd like to pop this, we'll just get the pop on camera. Oh, that was a good pop. Kind of smells like pickles. What are some of the notes that are uh, definitely tantalizing your olfactory pickle. senses right there? Pickle. Pickle. Uh, vinyl cheese. Vinyl cheese. Just vinyl cheese. Vinyl cheese. Okay. Yeah. That's not usually what you get on a cheeseburger. Yeah, just pass them around. Just talk through the flavor, talk through what you're experiencing. Definitely pickle. Definitely pickle? Yeah. yeah. Some, some heavy pickle notes. Oh, yeah. Definitely very, very pickly, very briny. Uh, salty. Yeah. And as always, love for the cameraman, Gary Hawkin. Yeah. The aftertaste Whoa. is kind of like that. Yeah. That pickle, right? Yeah. The burger yeah. comes behind. There's a, there's a layer, there's a layer of meat behind that. Jake Smith over here, Mayor of Peachtree Tech on Foursquare, but that's the DNA. <laughs> that is delicious. It's not bad. It is not bad at all. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Sid, next flavor for you. We're going with the buffalo wing? Definitely. Okay, starting with all the healthy flavors. Sid, feel free to do the honors. This is marketed as an extraordinary flavor. A bit stronger. Actually, kind of has a salt and vinegar vibe going okay. on there. Definitely salt and vinegar. You earned this. Let's go. Talk to what you're feeling here. Corey? Do we have anything to cleanse the palate? Uh, typically, yes, but we're flying by the seat of our pants this morning, so. <laughs> yeah, no. taste the Is there a vinegar component there? Oh, very strong. I don't like a hot sauce and vinegar. It's more the vinegar. smell of the vinegar rather than the actual. Okay, so not as strong as actual salt and vinegar. Oh. Back to Kevin. Should be a little spicier. Yeah, almost definitely tastes salt and vinegar. Yeah. What are some of the other weirder flavors you might have had? outside of this range that you compare this to? Uh, or would you, would you not make yourself out to be a Pringles aficionado? I Gary? cannot say I'm a Pringles expert at all. So. There's a tiny bit of a blue cheese out there. There is. I got that immediately, actually. I like the blue. With, and I do taste the vinegar. It's got, got a little heat. Not much. All right. Uh, moving right on. We'll knock out the pizza. Three basic food groups here. Gary, why don't you pop this for us? Um. <laughs> Ooh. This one smells like every other pizza flavored box good that you might find in the snack aisle at a grocer. Oh, totally. Here, Brian, you want to take some? Now, this may be closer to pizza than what we were eating yesterday. It's my understanding St. Louis pizza <laughs> doesn't really use Definitely. real cheese, but it's Definitely delicious. Pepperoni. This Definitely is, pepperoni. This is yeah. elementary school pizza. Right? Yeah. This is elementary school yeah, serving that. this square rectangle pizza. So basically, two servings of vegetables here was what we're looking at. Here you go, Gary. Thank you. This tastes a lot like the school lunch pizza, but it's a little white box. Yeah. Tastes like a back. Yes, nostalgic. Feels like childhood. Childhood in a can. That's great. All right, between these two. 
I actually want to do something that we've never done before. Blind taste test. Okay. So who thinks they're they're up to the task to tell these two flavors apart? I'm up to the task of pronouncing them. Okay, would you like to pronounce these properly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Be a cheesy quesadilla and chile con queso. Enjoy. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna pop. Yeah, hey, Brian, why don't you pop one of those? Oh, we'll use Kevin for this. Okay. Right. And uh, we'll just turn around here so Kevin can't see us. Alright. And uh, oh. Kevin, why don't you tell us what this is? Chili con queso. Oh, he called it. That was chili con queso. Congratulations, Kevin. All right. Let's just pass those around. Let me taste the other one, though. Sure. Here you go, Kim. Chili salted sweat socks for $1,000. Chili con queso. Pass around the chili con queso. 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 That's why I have help. Chili con queso. I think I like the queso. Like this, Quesadilla? Mm -hmm. Coming on strong with some cheese. Actually, I think the some heavy cheese. Oh, yeah. Quesadilla has a bit of a tang to it with the cheese, though. So I feel this is probably more straight oh. it's more like uh, pepper, that, jack, pepper jack. Ooh, that, that is definitely pepper jack. Yeah. yeah. That is good. That is pepper jack. jack. It's it's a, more of a bite than the hot wings, actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Bar, yeah. So we round it off with the barbecue. Really impressed with these two flavors. That, yeah, There's some creative engineering. <laughs> <laughs> Good pop on the barbecue. They've been making this flavor for a while. They know how to do it. Gary, why don't you lead us off? Thank you. Give us some flavor notes on these. It's actually fairly thick and It has a note of like scrambled eggs. Gary, how does that compare? Tastes exactly like barbecue from every other Pringles. Barbecue is really not very exciting, but it is a, it's consistent. This is probably one of the first tastings we're not doing salt and vinegar. I tried to exercise some self control. <laughs> Hands down, my favorite flavor, but barbecue is a good note. Okay. What region of barbecue? What region of barbecue is interesting? Okay. Yeah, Anybody see. can call that? I'm going to go. What, do you take, what are the available regions of barbecue for the viewers at home? Well, let's just go over the basics. This one? So far. Tomato based. Tomato based barbecue? Right. And there's vinegar based. This is not vinegar. This is not vinegar. This is a tomato based barbecue. We're looking at North South Carolina barbecue. No, no, that's mustard based. This is a Texas mesquite barbecue. Texas mesquite barbecue. Kansas City barbecue. We've got some some really disagreements here over the barbecue flavor. I'm going with the mesquite. All right, fair. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, Gary's doing the, the arm waving thing. He's probably going to get back to his. You don't really get the mosquitoes. No, my arms are really. His arm yeah. grows and yeah. comes back out your nose. Cal, I've been certified barbecue expert. Cal, thanks Absolutely. for providing your yeah. advice here. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody for participating. We're going to leave these Pringles out for everyone else. If you'd like to uh, have some sample of the afternoon, thanks for joining us at PHP Tech 2016. Hope to see you next time. Woo